First of all, loving the earmuffs. Very appropriate with the hot cocoa. Second of all, you got more marshmallows in there than actual hot chocolate. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. So excited to have you guys here on This Is How We Bingham. You guys are amazing. Thank you for tuning in each and every day. Wherever you guys are in the world, whatever time you're watching, we are very grateful that you are here. Thank you very much. I'm feeling very fall today. I got like this really cute brown sweatsuit on. Cute shoes. I have a lot of snow in the mountains. You don't want to say the S word yet. It's up there. We have snow, but the leaves look beautiful. And every time, I hope, I feel like we always give like a full report of the weather. It's because we're standing here. We're looking out at the beauty just behind the camera and it is just breathtaking. Snow is covered by the clouds right now. So I'm just seeing those beautiful fall colors. I am clearly in a fall mood. I feel like even my makeup is reflecting that. Just, I'm so excited for this time of year. I need to like pull out all of the bins and do like all of the fall stuff. I have so much fall stuff. I don't know why I bought anything new. I was just excited, so I did. But I am very much looking forward to even decorating the downstairs. I need to do that in the next couple of days. But today, you guys, we are having a meeting at the school discussing and going over the fall festival. The things we did amazing. All the things that we may have done poorly received feedback, suggestions for next year to make sure that we are ultimately doing this right. We are writing a handbook on how to do fundraising. It's a lot of work always to be done. We have that today and I'm going to be staying at the school doing some parent teacher conferences. Is that time. Check in on the kids. School started. We're in a little bit of a rhythm. Checking in to see how they're doing. What else do we have today? Flag football tonight. Tuesdays have become a favorite because the flag football games are so much fun. They're so exciting. The kids are so good at it. So we're just here for the ride through fall. It's beautiful. I've done some random Christmas shopping. It feels like life is just sliding on. This week, my stress, I feel like I have one big stress a week. Last week, it was Maddie's birthday party. Not like a bad stress, but like it was just like the focus of my week. My focus this week, we just booked family pictures. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> to figure out family pictures. Not a lot, a lot of really good, awesome things going on. A lot that needs to be figured out. home from her meeting. Very successful. Mom is now at parent-teacher conferences, and when I say conferences, plural, I mean, I think she's doing like 19 of them. Potential exaggeration, but she does have at least Brexton and Hazy's elementary school teachers, and then each of the kids have, how many teachers do you guys have, crew? Like eight? Eight teachers each. That's like 16 potential parent-teacher conferences that she's going to be going to for the junior high boys. So that is all happening right now. She's at the school still. We are back home for a little drive with Rye Guy. Got some of his hours in. If you missed yesterday, he got his driver's permit, passed on the first time, has the actual physical piece of paper, the actual license in his phone case. So when we go out and we drive, it is 100% fully legal. So we went and hit the neighborhood, went around a couple more parking lots, less used roads here up in the mountains where we're at. Got in another 30 minutes of driving. If you don't know how it works, because I'm learning this myself, they've got to get 40 hours of seat time, time behind the wheel, driver time. And 10 of those hours have to be at night. So by the time they go to get their license, take their test, we've got some experience under the belt. So in two days, he's already knocked out an hour's worth of driving out of 30 minutes since yesterday, 30 minutes today. I think we're going to take care of that pretty handily over the next coming I don't know, six to eight months, whatever it is. Boys are settling in, getting some homework done. Some of the traditional after school activities. Rexon's studying hard over here. Rexon's studying about the most realistic Iron Man yeah, helmet available. Okay, Zach, King compilations, a lot of different things he's learning in school. And then when mom gets home, I do believe we're gonna go and surprise Mana Joe with a little joint family birthday gift. So we've been waiting till everyone could get together and give that to her. So we're gonna be doing that later tonight. And then also the boys have another 9 p.m. football game playing under the lights. A little bit chillier this time, 40 degrees, the expected temperature. We're hoping that Mana Reese is gonna come through with her hot chocolate stand because that's something that we come to look forward to at these nighttime games, especially as we go into the colder temperatures, moving towards winter. And we're still embracing and enjoying and loving fall. It's fiery red colors. It looks gorgeous out this window right now in front of me, but there are snow-capped mountains. I'm going to say it again. No cap. The mountains are snow-capped. snow cap. <laughs> Boys are just cringing over here behind me, but there's a lot of snow up there. Tip tops are covered in snow. It's going to just make its way down as time goes on. It's getting colder. It's getting more and more fall-like as we move into winter. Today, heavy cloud cover. That makes for a little bit of a gloomy day, but it's a fun vibe as we gather here in the house. Mom even had the fireplace on yesterday. She went for a run, couldn't cool down, turn on the fireplace. It is a fun transition out of summer to fall and moving towards winter. We are enjoying it. Mom is back home from Parent Teacher ah. Conference. Not only is she home, she's come bearing fall clothes. Hi, Brex. We oh. talked about. <laughs> Do you guys want to? He's trying them on right now. I went to Sam's Club last week. We kind of talked about that in the vlog. I bought this 
whole huge bag of clothes for the boys. They don't have a ton of clothes right now because we were cleaning. I shoved them in a closet and then I forgot about Oh, because Maddie's party. We were like hurrying to try and clean up. People come over. I was just talking about earlier how the weather has changed as a very fall vibe and looking at the snow on the top of the mountains reminds us that winter is on the way. The kids went to go get dressed today as we're heading over to give Mana her gift. Everyone came out in like shorts and short sleeves and mom's like, wait, I've got long sleeve stuff for you guys. I just haven't given it to you yet. Yeah. Brexy Doodle trying on a little hoodie pants combo. He's, He's gonna rock that section, tonight. Dad. Brexton, you've moved into the men's section? I mean, it's a teeny bit long, but. My guy, look at you, look at you. Growing up. Mom's got her fun outfit on today. Cozy. Cozy outfit. Casey's looking good. Crew's still short shorts. Casey has He'll do that on. Through winter, I probably. I always wear shorts and yeah, shorts. This will be crew in February, so it's not a big deal. Brad guy's doing a little combo over there, a little hybrid. He's got the jacket on from our Ross Hall, and then some shorts. And Hazy, she's got earmuffs. She's ready for full blown winter over ready, there. We are ready, but the flag <laughs> football game tonight is gonna be crazy. Oh, tonight 40 degrees, possibly raining, definitely cold. Hot chocolate kind of night. Is your mom it coming? Is. I think my mom's coming, bringing hot cocoa. Unless it is like actively dumping rain. <laughs> Hi, Hazel. Do you like my pants? Guys, if I got my spooky face on, then you know we are back at the field once again. Using the GPS light to illuminate my face here. Kind of actually really trippy and creepy, which is appropriate for October, you guys. We're officially in the spooky season of Halloween. Mindy has already began the scare project, so we are worried as we come around every single corner. She's going to be there to jump out and scream, scare us or not. Look forward to that as we are looking forward to this game this evening, 9 p.m. game. Mona is supposed to be bringing the hot chocolate because it is... I got a coat on, guys. Like, I got a hoodie plus a coat. Trying to see the temperature. It's not telling me. I think we're in the 40s at this point. In a chilly day, pretty rad clouds all day on the mountains outside the window, which has been a super cool vibe. I think we're going to have a few extra people here at the game tonight. I believe Mana Joe's also going to come. We just stopped off at her house minutes before the game, gave her her surprise birthday gift. She was very gracious and loved that. And Maddie is supposed to be coming, maybe bringing some of her friends from college to see the game. A fun family affair here at the boys' game tonight. Like I said, going down pretty late, getting this thing done at 10, not home before 10.30 usually. That ends up being pretty late night, especially with kids in elementary school on a school night. We have pretty early bedtimes for those guys. They're usually pretty worn down the next day, but the nice thing is, is that Wednesdays are the early out day, so they don't have as much school. So if they get worn down, sometimes we'll find them on Wednesday afternoon on the floor between couches asleep on the ground, making up for these late nights. But a good one coming up. Boys out to play. Got family here to cheer them on. Of course, all of you guys, thank you for being here. It's been a great Tuesday so far. Chocolate station is back. Baby. There you go, Rye right Guy. There you go, baby. Make some chocolate oh, guys, here. The infamous hot chocolate station has made a return, and Hazy Girl stepping it up a level or two. First of all, loving the earmuffs. Very appropriate with the hot cocoa. Second of all, you got more marshmallows in there than actual hot chocolate. And third, what are you adding? What is this? These are little chocolate things to so make you put your hot chocolate more chocolatey. Oh so melt my hot chocolate and then genius. So this literally becomes melted hot chocolate. Wow. Oh, and there's Santa. So you really are feeling the spirit, aren't you? Yeah. Christmas spirit, you, like, full swing. Hot cocoa, earmuffs. Yeah. They're little melted chocolate Santas. You put them in the hot cocoa, and then they melt immediately, become liquid chocolate. Show us how This it works. is the chocolate. Oh shoot, did we drop it? You just melt when you put it in the hot chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Hi Ryler. Yeah. How cute these Santas are by the way. Okay, Santas, yep. So okay. then you drop them in. Put it in, and then? You can kind of like Wait, stir they them like that. Melt? Immediately melt. Good. So then it's like a chocolatey type of creamy hot chocolate. This is the best part of the football game. Hot chocolate on the sideline. And also makes it less hot. Oh, it does. And back to the game. Back to the game. <laughs> Bust it, crew, bust it. Oh! oh. oh. Back 
from the Frozen football game. Actually, Where were we? It wasn't that cold. Because we got ready with like coats and hoodies oh, and I hot had chocolate. Oh, I had boots, Full coat. on like Hazy had on earmuffs. It wasn't too bad. But it was a it sign was of things 40s. to come. Crazy. Tonight was like one of those core memory nights. It was so much fun. It was awesome. It was so great. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I don't know that we ever gave a report from the kids. Uh, we didn't say much about it. We went into the fall fashion because Brexton was getting changed right then. Mom went for I don't even know how many hours. Hit up as many teachers as possible. Hours. Five hours. Talking to teachers. Getting the lowdown on each kid. Great kids. Things that they do great. Things that they can work on. Good report for the kids. Great day. Come back tomorrow. Love you so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.